Hello there. This tutorial is about ReefMaster. ReefMaster is a GIS, a graphical information system, which allows anglers to create their own depth maps. We can create our depth maps in 2D and we can view our loggings in 3D. You can also make side scan mosaics and you can do waypoint management. You can view your sonars again. And the most important feature, I think, is that the data can be exported in several formats, so you can use them in different systems, such as uh, Lorentz uh, units. You can also export for the Google Maps, Google Earth format. And you can use the export also to make embed tiles for example the car pilot autopilot for bay boats the reefmaster software is user friendly but they also have good support such as the reefmaster a2 reference and they have the forum where you can ask questions if you get stuck reefmaster also has a trial version which you can use to check out if it's something for you or not before buying the license. I will now download the ReefMaster trial. I will continue with the trial. Open a new workspace. Let's call it Beefmaster Tutorial. Give it a location. Put it on my external hard drive. Create a new map. Beefmaster Projects. And select the folder. Click OK. I'm now in the ReefMaster software in the workspace ReefMaster tutorial. First thing is I start a new map project. I'm gonna call it test. But we still don't have any data in our project, so we go to File, Import Logs and Waypoints and browse our data. Now you can see that the track is loaded, but it's still not in the map project. Therefore, we go add track to map project. And now the data is in the project. We can zoom in. The next step is that we define the map area. As you can see, the generate map updates if we go now to map view you can see that there is already some map produced but let's first do the right things and go to edit here we find the map boundaries where we import our kmz all right as you can see it's now imported I can now go to the map view. What you see now is that there is still an error in the map boundary. Let's see what's the problem. And here right away we see that this polygon is set as an island, but we need to have the shoreline regenerate. Et voila. And now you see that the coloring of the map is within these map boundaries. And now we can start playing around. Let's see for our major and minor contours. They have now an interval of three meters. Let's set them at half a meter and regenerate. Well, that's already much better, but let's now go to layers. We have here our major and minor contours, but as well as the 
Isobats. I put the color scheme in AT5. And then we go to the palettes. And you could choose your own palette. I like this one. Another layer which I really like is the shaded relief layer. You can choose the palette. I like this one. And another setting which I really use a lot is the light direction. I put it for the northern hemisphere. And you can adjust the vertical scale so there is more contrast. The result is that it has more of a 3D kind of view, but it's still not 3D. The feature that really appeals to people is the 3D view. I'll show you guys. You can tilt the view, but it's still flat. Therefore, you need to go to the scale. I'll really exaggerate now. And you can turn. Whoop, and zoom. Preparing a multi-layered map for export also involves playing around with the opacity. I'll set this opacity at 50% around. And now you see the two layers start to blend in better. This might be handy for your visibility in the, for example, Google Maps. Remember that we are still in the trial version, so export is not available. So for this you will need to buy the license. In the meanwhile, I have activated my license, so we can start exporting. I'll go to export map project. Here you see a variety of export formats. I'll choose the Google Earth format first. Next, I'm going to export the map as an AT5, which is compatible for the Lowlands units. But now we get a request to locate the Insight Map Creator. This is a software from Navico to create AT5 format. So we go to the Go Free Marine website products we go to software and then inside map creator so we're at a page where you can get the software we download this so now I have the inside map creator installed I locate it and it's now generating the RT5 next up is to export the file in the export map project as an MB tiles. I'll put it again in the test. So now we have exported our map in three different formats. We have the Google Earth format, we have the AT5 format, and we have the MB tiles. While logged into Google Maps, you go to My Places, Charts, Add Chart. Add layer, import, browse your file, zkmz file, and now you've added your kmz. So let's check it in our cell phone. You go to my places, maps. And there you can see your depth chart. Next step is to prepare an SD chart to read in your Lorentz unit. You make a folder Navico, and there you can add your AT5 charts. Insert your SD card in the Lorentz unit, load the chart, and acknowledge. Now you have your chart in the unit. 
Final step is to insert the MB tile in the car pilot. We will go more in depth in another video. Guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Bye.